People have to appreciate how important WikiLeaks has been to the world stage. In human history, it's incredibly important what's taking place right now, right? Did you see the new re Yes, I did. And I ha actually have this lined up uh, internal OPCW emails. And this is, uh, this is the most recent major leak that WikiLeaks has released saying that the OPCW, the watchdog, I forget what it uh, stands for. It stands for the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons faked the evidence of chemical attack in Syria, which was leading to war with Syria, where the United States and its Western allies were going to attack Syria, and they did. But initially, they want to go a lot harder, and this was the excuse that they were using, right? So this is the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons releasing fake information to lead to war right humongous humongous right and we're going to do a reading of this as well the introduction to this i haven't read it all yet um i skimmed through it but most likely we'll release some kind of video on this as well okay it's it's ridiculously important okay but just to let you know how important some of these leaks are the collateral murder video it should be obvious to everyone that is ridiculously important right the Guantanamo Bay files release, which was, let me take you to the link, the link of Guantanamo Bay. Da, 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 da. And I'm trying to source everything in the, in the description of the videos, of course, right? And here's the source material, the uh, Gitmo files, WikiLeaks reveals secret files on all uh, Guantanamo prisoners, right? And the part that I quoted for this person is saying that we have to keep America great again uh, because we have to bomb these people and stuff like this right is the s isn 212 so we're going to look up the prisoner number for this person right i uh, oops s and 212 and this is basically this part is da, 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 that is uh, basically some of the story behind some of the people that western powers tortured to get information about whoever they want to get information and this part of the wikileaks guantanamo files leak specifically states this so they're using nox gas over there well the, yeah check this out this was i'm just going to read you a paragraph and it's available you know we read through the whole thing in the the soft spoken reading of WikiLeaks, the introduction to Guantanamo Bay files, right? And here, let me provide the link in the chat just in case you guys want to go to it yourself. Okay. Uh, description of prisoner Ibn al Shahiki al Libi, ISN 212, the Emir of a military training camp for which Abu Zab. Zabagi was the gatekeeper who, despite having uh, his camp closed by the Taliban in 2000 because he refused to allow it to be taken over by Al Qaeda, is described in these documents as Osama bin Laden's military commander in Tora Bora. Soon after his capture in December 2001, Al Libi, Al -Libi was rendered by the CIA to Egypt, where under torture he falsely confessed that Al Qaeda operatives had been meeting with Saddam Hussein to discuss obtaining chemical and biological weapons. Ali Libby recanted this particular lie, but it was nevertheless used by the Bush administration, administration to justify the invasion of Iraq in March 2003. Al Libby was never sent to Guantanamo, although at some point, probably in 2006, the CIA sent him back to Libya, Libya, where he was imprisoned and where he died allegedly by committing suicide in May 2019, right? Now, this guy's lie under torture was one of the reasons that was given to invade Iraq, which resulted in thousands of American soldiers dying, tens of thousands being seriously injured, millions of refugees being created 
and hundreds of thousands of people dying, right? This is how important the leak of the Guantanamo Bay files are. And this is one of the reasons that the Western powers are trying to crucify Julian Assange. Okay.